Hey, it's Chris from iSolutions. Just wanted to show you part two of our demo. Um, in this case, uh, what I'm going to show you is an example of replacing a paper form with a FileMaker Go application. So in this case, this is for a this is a demo for a fire department, and uh, they have tons and tons of forms that they have to fill out. And one of the biggest things they have to do is complete a certain number of hours of training every month. And it, and not only do they have to complete the training, but someone in a, a administrative uh, position needs to be able to fill out these paper forms uh, that indicate that the training has been completed uh, because there's a battalion chief that uh, will need to keep tabs on whether or not each station has met their quota of training. So the, for the purposes of this demo, uh, we're going to look at each fire station requiring 100 hours a month of training. So what we've uh, done here, instead of having to fill out a paper form every time training occurs uh, and then go back uh, and fax this form over to the battalion chief and call to let them know that it's there and have those people tally up a bunch of stuff in a spreadsheet to see uh, whether or not all the training is complete, what we've done over here on the right-hand side is we've created a, a training form on an iPad. This way they can be out in the field actually performing the training. And instead of uh, having to wait till they get back to the station to fill out the form or maybe forget completely to fill out the form, what they do is they simply go in here to the new training button and up pops an example of a digital version of a, of a form. And what's nice about this is there's just a bunch of drop down menus that you'll see here. This for example is picking the battalion, then the fire station, and the type of, of fire training, a little bit more description on the subcategories, the style of the training that's been completed. And then down here in the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to pick all the different people who were trained, uh, but we want to pick one unit of measure. So you see here we've got a drop down that's 15 minutes, 35, all the way up to an hour. What we're going to do is we're going to say 45 minutes for training, and uh, it's going to be 45 minutes times whatever individual we select uh, to be trained. And what you'll notice here is that almost every single one of the data input areas has a drop down or a pop up or something that makes it very easy really to complete this entire form. Uh, the person filling it out just needs to tap their, their finger on the screen no more than 10 times and everything is done, which is a, a, a very vast improvement in, in efficiency uh, for filling out a form versus a paper form. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you is there's an interesting JavaScript gauge that we've created here. And the, each station, in this case it's the station that was selected, which is station 35, has a 100 hour quota. You can see here we've got this little dynamic calculation driven web viewer that shows a JavaScript gauge. This is where the iPhone comes in. So over here, instead of a battalion chief having to have some person uh, back at the office compiling all this information and then them having to call around and see how far everybody is on their training for the month and make sure that they're on track, Instead, what they can do is just reach into their phone, and in this case, what they do is they pick the battalion that they're a member of, or it can just recognize them on login, and they scroll down here, and they want to pick the different stations that are within uh, their battalion. So we'll say station 35, and uh, notice that the gauge is at 89.75. Here when I fix the orientation, 89.75. Now I want you to watch this gauge as I complete this. So back over here, instead of having to hand write in the, the people that are getting that are receiving the training, where I'm going to just tap my finger on each name and, and it's automatically creating a record for them uh, inside the database. And when we're done, uh, you see that what it's going to do is it's going to tally up uh, all the different hours. I could even add some notes if I want to here. But you'll notice that it does 45 minutes times uh, the number of members trained and gives us a total number of hours. Now, I haven't completed these, these uh, yet. So uh, what we're going to do is go down to um, this little area down here in the bottom left-hand corner where you see this complete checkbox. Now, the idea is I want you to watch this gauge over here. So someone's out in the field. They're completing a training form. They're at 89.75 right now and uh, they're going to add a few hours to this. So when I hit complete, what that does is it updates the calculation, and as you see, the battalion uh, chief could be uh, just opening up his iPhone and taking a look and, and seeing um, where everybody's at, and he could see that gauge move as this training form is completed. And over here, to, to verify, we could say um, we want to accept a signature here, and then that signature gets saved uh, with this particular training form. So a very, very quick and easy way to be able to um, 
to create training forms and have it be live, and a battalion chief who normally used to have to do all sorts of analog ways to, to track the training can instead pick any one of the uh, fire stations in their area and they can immediately see who's uh, been doing their training, who hasn't been doing the training. You see here I poked through a couple of them. Station 76 is at 20-something um, percent there. 56, let's see where they're at. Uh, they're a little bit better. But if you notice this very first one, uh, training uh, the station 27, they're at zero percent based on the gauge. So what I can do is it automatically pulls up the phone number for that station and I can automatically initiate a call um, that says, hey, what are you guys doing over there, if anything, um, to uh, complete your training? So it's some pretty compelling, interesting ways of mixing uh, plain FileMaker, some JavaScript, CSS, um, to show the gauges, and uh, some, some kind of interesting multi-user effect for uh, using a gauge when um, the, uh, what the data that's driving the gauge on the back end is actually unstored calculations. The user doesn't even have to refresh the web viewer to be able to see it updated. And also showing you how these things work on iPad and on iPhone and even in conjunction with each other in a multi-user environment. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this demo. Thanks for watching.